Hello and welcome to another Inverted Access stream. Today I'm looking at Griffin Knight Epic on PlayStation 4. It's also on Xbox One and PC. And it is kind of a side-scrolling shooter with some cool pixel art. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've played a couple levels already. Um, I believe there's six main core levels as well as a tutorial. I've played these two, so let's go ahead and try some of these names are just a disaster. Dawid Meleka. Eugenia Freischengust. So let's go ahead and try Eugenia's level. Why not, right? Three, diffi three difficulty levels to play on. I've been playing on Knight at the middle difficulty level. Simple Dwarf Village. And there's some eyeballs to shoot. So you can see like the foreground and the characters are this like pixel art style. Um, some of the background looks, you know, more hand drawn maybe. Definitely not pixel art style anyway. Oh, there's frogs on me. How do I get them off of me? I guess they just fell off. Help some of these villagers. You can see that I can turn around. Wow, this level's tough. Yeah, it's a colorful, kind of silly uh, shoot 'em up. Side scrolling shooter, I should say, not really a shoot 'em up. I mean, it kind of is. And also, welcome, Brian. I guess myself and Brian are picking up for Adam dropping the ball tonight. Usually Thursday night is Adam's stream night, but his stream did not go live. Brian streamed for about an hour, took a look at the new Final Fantasy, and now here I am. The demo of the, final, of the new Final Fantasy, I should say. Yeah, the uh, enemy and character design in this are very interesting. Like, I mean, it's called Griffin Knight Epic, and I'm definitely a griffin riding, or definitely a knight riding on a griffin, so fits the bill at least. Yeah, I think if you were actually streaming Final Fantasy XV, that would have brought in quite a few viewers. Yeah, it does, it does look cool. I mean, because it's action RPG and not turn-based, um, it's like the first uh, Final Fantasy that's ever really been on my radar. I'm about to die. Wow. That was uh, not great. Try that again. Um, because it's uh, action RPG and not turn-based, I'm, I'm much more excited for it than I would have been. Also, the uh, original trailer was really exciting. The, not the original, original, like the, the revamped original, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. There we go. Much better that time. I think it was at PlayStation's E3 conference. Was it just last year? Was it two years ago? I can't remember. But I really liked that uh, trailer. Yeah, I've heard that. What was it originally called? Like, wasn't it like, well, it wasn't 13.2 or 13.3 because those exist, but I thought it was supposed to like originally be a spin-off of one of the other games. I'm not sure. Man, I'm getting messed up. Hey, Therm. Ah. Oh. Is these, this level is much more difficult than any I've played before this one. Um, 
Final Fantasy 13 versus. Yeah, that's what it was. I don't know, other than that I know that Twitch is having some issues. I mean, I can see my stream just fine. Yeah, Twitch has been severely acting up. In classic Twitch fashion. Oh, I actually got a, a unique collectible, but I don't know what it does. Or a unique crystal. So the green crystals provide health. The orange crystals power up your um, your little partner guy there. Like I have a little dragon that's spitting fire next to me. The orange crystals power up his attack. And then there are other colored crystals that are much more un the much less common. I guess we're gonna see these guys at least. Uh, what? I'm like dizzy. That's really annoying. I don't know what hit me that got me dizzy. I guess I don't really need to kill them. These frogs are super annoying. Anyway, it's a, uh, there's a lot of shit going on in this game, let's put it that way. It gets to be pretty intense sometimes. Fun art style for a game like this. Much more involved than the art style in a lot of games of this nature. These frogs are annoying. It's a it's a bit tough. This level's tougher than the last few therm. I mean, are they ever gonna these frogs ever gonna get off me? I don't know how to get them off of me. Um, I'm not having any issues at all viewing it, the stream. Um, there's no doubt that Twitch is having major issues themselves. So maybe that's it. Oh, I need to turn to get frogs off of me. So like every boss, well, you, there's a boss at the end of every level, um, but at the end of every, every other boss, you, so like this will be the first boss, but I won't get his power. But like every other boss, you get to collect their power, like in Mega Man style. That's like that blade, that crescent blade attack that I'm shooting right now, um, is one that I collected. Um, I do go back and look at them for sure. So yeah, no, I appreciate any sort of issues you're having with the stream. I always appreciate them being reported, even if I can't do anything about them. So this wizard guy got turned into a bird apparently. Oh, and now I'm fighting a huge frog. So these boss fights are pretty fun. What does the number next to my sword mean? I think is what Therm asked. That is, so my uh, shit. holy shit. Whoops. The little blade attack, the crescent blade attack, has to be powered up. The number next to my sword, like, it shows how much power I have for that. So you see it's going down now because I'm using it and I'm getting my ass kicked, by the way. And I died. No big surprise there.
I think, yeah, the checkpoints are pretty generous. I definitely need to be doing that more. Because obviously hiding in the top corner isn't doing anything for me. So his, he doesn't really have a power bar, Whoops. but I'm guessing his eyes are going to kind of function as his power bar. Shit. He's like, now I have three of them closed. Cool, and I beat him. Hey, I beat him on my second try. Let's not say things we can't take back, Brian. So the story is told just via text like this. Um, not terribly consequential in my opinion. Um, but what happens is there was this dragon that attacked this land and this group of seven heroes went out and defeated the dragon and then they collected the loot and the weapons from his uh, little cave. And those weapons have now made all the heroes evil so the knight is going out to like kind of make the people good again. So that was like the mini boss. Each world has two levels. Well, the first two had two. I'm guessing each one will have two. Royal Wizard's Tower. Looks like I'm doing more. I'm doing more of a vertical scroll on this level. Actually, probably be a bit harder. There are three difficulties as well, Therm. I don't know if you were here right at the beginning when I was picking difficulties. Um, so like, if it is too tough for you, you can definitely dial it down a notch. And if it's too easy for you, you can dial it up a notch. <laughs> really some creative enemies. Holy shit at some of these creations. I've got a bad habit of turning around when I mean to fire my crescent weapon. Um, I've been separated from what's called my specter, so like, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I've, I, I would think that the this character specter will be the final boss. So I've been debating a bit, uh, well my goal, of course, you know, is to try and stream a little bit more. I've kind of fallen off and been slacking on my streaming. So I've been trying to, you know, even if it's not a whole lot more streaming, try and get it at least on a more consistent basis. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is try, try and shoot for Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9p, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. So I have two friends that stream, one that's viewing right now. Brian, um, he streams Mon or he streams Tuesdays and Fridays, yeah. So I, I might have to overlap his stream for an hour or so on Tuesdays. Then my other friend Adam streams Mondays and Thursdays, so I'll have to overlap about an hour of his streams on Thursdays. But there's not a whole lot of options for me, especially since Wednesday is like the worst day for me to stream. And that's like the, kind of the open day during the week. 
So that's what I'm going to try and shoot for, whether I'm playing new review games or just playing old games, you know, whatever I'm playing. I'll try and stream those two nights. And my streams probably won't be as long as Brian or Adam's. They usually stream for about three hours or more. I'm not usually... You know, I, I, I need to take breaks a little bit more frequently than that. Sometimes I can go that long. Depends on what type of game I'm playing, too. That's what I finished, Brian. Like, you guys can always finish up. We'll have a bit of overlap. And then if you guys are still awake and want to watch another stream, I'll be around on those days. And I, of course, would always appreciate hosts. I need to work on doing that myself. The other thing I've been debating um, is because I, I do like to have co-hosts. Ah, oh, shit. I'm screwed now. My controllers are backwards. I guess when you get hit by those guys, you like lose control of which direction you're going. Um, anyways, I like to have co-hosts like Monkey, and I, I may try and bring other people on. Brian has a PS4, and he can certainly co-host at times, too. Um, but the microphone I have to use when I'm co-hosting makes my voice sound much worse. I'm not sure why, but the golds just don't translate very well onto the stream when you stream. So the other thing I'm going to do, especially with games that I kind of want to show off like this, um, that are review games, I'm going to stream the game just by myself with the good mic for about 30 minutes or so, show it off, be able to clip it down to a YouTube video, kind of like what Paul does. And then it'll turn into a little bit more casual of a stream with co-hosts and stuff like that. So just a heads up on some things I've kind of been going over. I'm trying to get a little bit more active. For a while there, I was streaming for a long time, and then I kind of really got out of it for a while. So try and get back into it. Hey, Rencrest. Yeah, and if I would set up my if I would set up a streaming system not through the PS4, the mic would probably sound better too. This the quality of the voices, especially the co-hosts, because um, I think the uh, the voice quality of the party chat is not great on stream. Well, I know it's not, but and maybe I'll I'll put some time into that here in the future as well. Hey, Robob. Brian, did you see the new, uh... Oh, cool. Um, did you see the, the... Did I say Bob? If I said Bob, I meant Brian, although Bob does stream too. Brian, did you see the new, like, timeline stuff on Twitch that you can do? It seems, like, I mean, interesting at least. I, I don't know how useful and effective it'll be, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I already have an Elgato. I don't have, like, I have a laptop from work that I use to stream. It's the only laptop that I can stream from, and it is not terribly powerful either. And it's just kind of, oh, shit. Kind of a headache to set up. It's just so easy, so easy to push the share button on the PS4 and just start streaming in literally, like, two minutes. There are potions in this game. I need to stop being so cheap and, and use potions a bit more as they heal a decent amount of your life. This is an interesting level. Cause this level's kind of been about dodging things. Every other level's been about killing things, but there's no way you're killing all these enemies. Ah, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, the backwards controls just kill me. You switch directions with circle. I, I continually invert it and use circle as my special attack and X X is my special attacks and I keep pushing that to swap to swap directions. I don't know why I can't figure them out in my brain. But I can't. I'm wondering if I played I recently played a game where Circle is a special attack, but the only other game I've really been playing is Unepic, and it's not in that. Doing a little better this time. Yep, there's an upgrade system. After this level, I'll make sure to show it off before we cut the more informative portion of the stream off and go into the co-host stream because I want that to be on the YouTube video as well. 
The YouTube videos especially, the, the, qual the mic quality difference is just astounding. Between the, uh, the golds and the pack. The pack-in mic is actually the good microphone, isn't that crazy? I mean, it's a, uh, I wouldn't say it's on, I mean, it, yeah, it's a side-scrolling shooter. Like, it's kind of a shoot 'em up type of thing. On Rails, I, it is, sure, kind of, but yeah, it's just a, just a shoot 'em up. Don't you like games like this? Oops. So I need to make orange, and then purple, and then green. So I mean, I don't know. Like, does it have to be over this pit? So there's some kind of goofy puzzles like this in the game too. So we have orange. Then we need purple. Oh, what kind of mic setup are you thinking, Brian? You mean like Adam or something? Because I'm not sure I really have the, the situation for that. So, what does that symbol by the green thing mean? Yes, epic difficulties available on the first run. I guess, I feel like... I'm still missing something here. I don't know. Does Adam just have a, a mic and like a mic arm and stuff like that? what's going on here. So... Couple little goofy puzzles here. Hey, Sage. Yo, I don't even know what your setup is like, Brian. Okay. Definitely missing something here. Well, I, can, I guess I could just go like that. No, I can't. Uh... little thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I know I'm going for this right here. But like, I, each thing only has three setups, so I can only shoot like three different ways. So I can either shoot down or to the right. And this one has to catch it if I'm gonna use it. I guess I can go like this. And this one would have to catch it. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. I think. Yeah. So 
so I freed that person. That's one thing. Still need to hit this thing. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't take too long. This isn't exactly the most entertaining thing of all time. There we go. Now we're good. Now let's head back this way. See if we can't shoot some enemies. Probably open up this top thing, I guess. Yeah. That's probably the way I need to go, but I feel like there's a there's like a hidden gem in each world. That's kind of hard to find. I found one. Like, I feel like I'm missing something here. Like, to me, this seems right now, but... I guess I don't really understand what's going on on this puzzle. Now. See, so it still wanted red. For some reason. So it wants red, use a guide, and orange, red and orange and green maybe. Hey Fatality. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Red, orange. Yellow, blue, damn it. Red, orange, yellow. There is actually shooting in this game, I swear. Especially those who just came in. What was it, red, orange, yellow, purple? Whoops. Red, orange, yellow, green. Purple. Of course not. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Purple. Open up a little warp zone or something in here, I guess. I don't know. Up oh, there. This is the crystal that you need to collect in each level. Increase magic points by 25. That's it. Cool, I'm glad I got that. Sorry guys, you're all smarter than me. Aren't you so special? What was, what was the solution? Like, why was it that order? Did anyone see on the screen like the clues that made it that order? Like, I definitely didn't see why it would have been that way. Okay, it looks like we're at a boss now. <laughs> Brian. The black box with the squiggles is because I got a trophy. For whatever very, very strange reason, PlayStation blocks any sort of messages like that. It obscures it on Twitch. Yep, Brian's got it. Um, so whenever I get like a message or a trophy pops up, it does those weird squiggles on screen. Okay, so it's gonna be the boss. Kind of, like I said, I, I'm not into the story at all. I'm not into most games' story, but what are you gonna do? It also kind of goes on too long, as you can see. Whoop. And so, of course, we get to use this again. Whoa, whoa. There 
and very quickly dead. Checkpoint right at the boss, it looks like. I don't know why that game is telling me to go to the right because I don't need to. Hopefully that shuts off. <laughs> nope. Just gonna hang out there the whole time. I guess I can just kind of wait. Like this sort of attack. There we go. Yeah, powered it down real good. Hey, Zero. It could. That's for sure, Sage. It could pop up with real names. Huh, this one doesn't seem like she's being getting back to normal. The uh Oh there we go. The gator. Yeah, good turnout today. Now they're back to normal. It's kind of like, because like you're doing the same thing with every hero, like they're evil and then you make them good and then they apologize and can't believe they were turned evil by the weapon or whatever. So uh, yeah, you basically have the same conversation six times. That's kind of a cool attack. I might check that out here in a minute. So I'm going to spend a quick minute here going over kind of like the upgrades and stuff like that. Um, just to show them off to you guys. So there's both the market and the wizard shop. Market, you can buy potions, so I'm going to pick one up, so I'll just have five again. Um, energy potion increases the energy, that's the weapon that I used. Um, so I haven't really messed around with most of the stuff. What you can buy are these squires. So like I have this dragon squire that shoots fireballs um, that I've been using, but there's also ones that like have a shield, extra shield, or you heal knights, or you heal the knight when you kill enemies, stuff like that. So like seven or eight different uh, squires that can, you know, kind of help you out. Yeah, that might be a bit tough. It's, you saw how strong that uh, sword attack I just used on her was. The wizard shop is where you can upgrade weapons. You can upgrade the crossbuster. Um, it has a charge attack. Ooh, I can increase magic. You increase the stones that you pick up that are useful. Um, like I have a fully increased sword because I like that sword. Um, the half moon shooting sword. Um, but you basically can upgrade all the weapons. So you get gold just from playing the levels. That's how that works. Super simple upgrade system, but you know, important. You can kind of upgrade the things you want. Like I am gonna upgrade the magic rune so I can ha shoot even more sword attacks now. Yeah, Aladdin's cool. I'd watch some Aladdin. It's not a terribly long game. Oh, 
All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to Dawid Melek. So here's the difficulty choices again. Just as long as you don't stream any Sonic games, no one wants to see Sonic. So many, like, very, very weird enemy design, character design, stuff like that. Whoops, that's not the way I want to go. Apparently I want to go up. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it's a little, well, it has more colors than a Genesis game would have, probably. But I mean, think about how many P- holy shit, I'm almost dead already. Think about how many people, uh... How many people do you think it took to make the first Sonic the Hedgehog, Adam? Or Brian, or anyone else with knowledge about that sort of stuff? And think about how many people it probably took to make this game. You know, I think it's, it's kind of a cool evolution, fuck. That was a quick death. Yeah, no, it, it definitely has the same look. I, I agree for sure. I think it only took a dozen people to make Sonic. Well, maybe you're right. Brian says 20 to 30. So a lot of these type of games are made by two and three person studios. I don't know how many people made this game. Um, you know, and, and you say that and go up. You say that and, you know, even someone like Tom Happ, who did the vast majority of Axiom Verge, still had, like, I think, help with the music and stuff like that. There's really so much that goes into a game that you just can't be a professional at every single thing. And even, even if you program the whole game yourself, you know, you might have, need help with art and stuff like that. Man, I am terrible. Yep, way better tools. I mean, you know, the point I was trying to get to is that uh, it's kind of cool that in what, you know, a team of 20 could do back then, a team of three could maybe do now. You know, just it just... It's cool that, the, to me, it's cool that these games still exist. You guys know I love indie games still. But uh, it's cool to me that they can still find a home somewhere. It doesn't all have to be like colossal games that max out the... Shit. Huh, 11. Damn. It's less than I thought. But then you can go to like the the PlayStation blog and read the comments and you'll see that only games that max out the system that you know tax it to its very core are the ones that should be on the system and anything else just weakens the library so there's definitely people of both opinions Yeah, no, I, I I definitely am not trying to say, that's what I mean exactly, Gator, is that the, the technology has, van has advanced so far that something like this is able to be made by just a few people. Like, that this doesn't have to go into production for a year or whatever. You know, I don't know. Mario games took a couple years, I think. Fuck, I suck. Maybe I'll go try another level. This level's kicking my ass. Lose 5% of my money. I love my money. This is on night, so this is normal difficulty. Let's go try this level. 
right? I did leave that on normal. Yeah, I did. Wait, was Waldo in there? I'm already doing better in this level than I did in the first one, or in the last one I was playing. They designed Mario games on graphing paper. I'd, I'd imagine that's probably true. Yeah, I have knights or something in this level, it looks like. I don't think I'd do anything with them per se, but... They kind of just hang out with me. Cool if it wasn't terrible. Oh, what the fuck? Don't attack me from behind. Like I said, there are potions. I'm just being a potion hog right now and not wanting to use them. I definitely could have used them in the last level too. Although I, I would have more of a benefit if I'd stopped getting hit so much. Like it would give my little companion dragon fire launching thing a chance to level up, but because I've been taking damage, he's been losing his level and he's just at level one. Whoops. I don't, it, you know, it might be, I don't think it's an escort mission. I think they're just here to help me, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe the game will get mad at me if they die. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, kill him. Can't go this way? Yeah, go this way. Into the ice cave. Whoops. So it looks like I just got gold there. No big collectible here. This game does have a platinum trophy for all you trophy fans out there. A bit surprising. It doesn't seem like it'll be a terribly long game. Um, Honestly, I shouldn't say too surprising because, I mean, I've said it before, there's really no way you can figure out whether a game is going to have a platinum or, lot or not. But there are 50 trophies. There's actually, I think, 70 achievements on the Xbox One version. It's crazy. Four hours. That actually doesn't sound even the tiniest bit difficult, especially on the easy difficulty. Unless there's more levels I don't know about. Like I said, I think there's going to be about 16 total levels, and, and most of them are about 10 minutes long, so that's, what, 160 minutes? That doesn't seem bad at all. Maybe the levels are closer to 15, I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. And I died. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I could see that. I think it's more just about which which store, PSN store rep is helping out which team. Ugh, I did start far ways back. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. As you can see me getting my ass kicked here. I never said I was good at this game. And I gotta get better at focusing on the hitbox. Like, the eagle actually can't take damage. The hitbox is only the knight. And I don't know how big of it, how big it is, but... Like, I could definitely get better at that, too. I've just kind of been a bit impatient in learning this game. I sometimes wish it would turn around without turning the, uh... Camera scrolling around. Grab some gold. And then climb this mountain. Yeah, I agree, Brian. They should have a policy and stick to it, but they 
they don't have any sort of good policy. Go. Shoot the... What the hell, dude? Push the X. forward. Like why would it I mean the most recent really bizarre one to me is Max Payne. Like why does Max Payne not have a platinum trophy when all most of the other big PS2 classic games have platinum trophies? Yeah really they just should just put platinum trophies in everything. And we have an elephant with knights on it. I forgot how much this game is. Is this ten dollars or fifteen? Does anyone remember? What is hitting me? I don't even see the animation that's hitting me with that. That's weird. <laughs> Tembo the badass elephant. What the hell? It kind of just seemed like I was taking damage regardless. 10% off till Tuesday. That's a, that's, a good fi that's a good fair price. I mean, nothing is $5 anymore, pretty much. Maybe a couple mobile ports. Um, you know, but a, a lot of games are reaching for that $15, $20 range. I'm impressed with both this and an Epic. You know, sticking with the $10 price point. So the way his nose faces is how he attacks. So he's gonna... I don't know what he's doing now. So I need to get up on that one. And again. Oh, I lost all my knights. Can we fuck off, elephant? Yes, I, uh, I don't understand how to hit him. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Brian play it, bro, Bob. I'll probably play it tomorrow. Looks a lot. It feels a lot like Kingdom Hearts for sure. Not that not that that's a bad thing. I play Kingdom Hearts every day over Final Fantasy. But whoops! Great start on this one. idea how to hit him unless it's just like a wave thing. And I've already lost all my... And I can't stand like right here, it doesn't look like... Hmm.
Yeah, very Kingdom Hearts-esque for sure. Whoops. There we go. There those guys. Hide from the elephant. I want an elephant. I want an elephant. Kill those guys, guys. It's apparently they're immune to the... Oh! That looked like something actually happened. Like that he got hurt or something. getting hurt now though, so I'm not complaining. Maybe I have to keep the knights alive, I don't know. I really have no clue what's going on here. Sorry guys. Anyone notices anything, please feel free to let me know. Oh, I did get him. Okay. Alright, well that's going to be it for the YouTube part of this stream. What that means, and I was talking about this earlier, is for my streams, for the first part of the stream, I'm going to kind of do a more official stream, talk about the game more, uh, use my better mic so I can, you know, export it over to YouTube and it'll sound better on YouTube. All that fun stuff. Um, so now I'm going to actually invite in Monkey Wawa to join me co-hosting. Um, so I'll actually have something to talk about since I've kind of been quiet the last 10 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, just give me a quick second and I will be right back and we'll keep looking at this game. 